Okay, so today we're going to be reading from 15 U.S.C. 1692J, furnishing certain deceptive forms. So we're going to talk about how them bills you receive in the mail is not your debt. Those bills you receive in the mail is not your debt, okay? So let's read, y'all. Let's jump right into it. So Google 15 U.S.C. 1692J is titled Furnishing Certain Deceptive Forms. And it, and it reads, it is unlawful to design, compile, and furnish any form knowing that such form would be used to create the false belief. So they're creating a false belief in a consumer that a person other than the creditor of such consumer is participating in the collection of or in an attempt to collect a debt such consumer allegedly owes such creditor when in fact such person is not so participating in. So let's read that again, guys. It says, it is unlawful to design, compile, and and furnish any form. So it is unlawful to furnish any form knowing that such form would be created, would be used to create the false belief in a consumer that a person other than the creditor of such consumer is participating in the collection of or an attempt to collect a debt such consumer allegedly owe such creditor when in fact such person is not so participating in. So guys, what that is basically saying that the law is basically saying that they should not be sending you bills in the mail saying you owe some type of debt because they know that you don't owe any debt. So they created a false belief in letting you think that you owe a debt. That's a deceptive form. When they send you something in the mail, that's a deceptive form from the creditor. That's a false belief in making you believe something. We believe that we are participating in the act of debt collection because we believe that the debt belongs to us, but it don't. It don't belong to us. So any statement you receive in the mail each month is really is considered a deceptive form because it's creating a false belief that you owe something that you don't. The law speaks on that. And that's a violation. I spoke, speak on it all the time. Anything that you find is a thousand dollar violation. Always look for the violations. A thousand dollars, you can add up a whole lot of thousand dollars because you got a, a, a whole lot of violations. According to the law, it is unfair to collect any debt from a consumer. They can't collect debt from you. They cannot collect debt from you. There's no law saying that you owe debt. The United States went bankruptcy in 1933, okay? So when it went bankruptcy, it, it, the law pretty much tells us that all debt belongs to the United States. It, it belongs to the United States. All debt, public and private, is the obligations of the United States. So if you read 18 U.S.C. Code 8, Obligations or Other Securities of the United States, Define it's going to tell you that the obligations belong to the United States. It does not say the obligations belong to the consumer. So we got to dive in these laws. So read that on your own time. 18 USC code eight obligations or other securities of the United States. It breaks down how, you know, all debt belongs to the, um, the United States. And the reason why these companies are steady doing this. And I, a lot, I know a lot of people is like, well, if that's true, why is they doing it? It's going on because we are not, we don't understand as the people. This is, it's, it's, it's not personal, it's business. These people ain't, this, this is business. If you are not, you know, studying, they're not going to correct you like, oh, you know, you're not supposed to pay this. No, they just in the business of getting money. You have to properly assert yourself. You don't owe any debt because it belongs to the United States. All debt, public and private is the obligations of the United States. So those are deceptive forms. It's creating a false belief that you owe something. They're not going to correct you because they know you don't know what you're talking about. Or you, you don't know how to properly assert yourself. But how to get your remedy is if you are pointing out the laws like I'm doing now. We're reading through it. Okay. It belongs to the United States. 
all this 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 bill that i got in the mail it don't belong to me this is what y'all saying you have to properly put yourself in position to get the remedy that that belongs to you we have to force and demand what we want it's been going on so long that nobody is really pushing through it because we have this lazy mentality that if it takes too long, if if, we, if it don't come quick, if it ain't uh, microwave ready, we don't want nothing to do with it. This is why a lot of us are in um, the situations that we're in because we want something quick, fast. We're lazy minded. We don't read like we should. So, of course, these companies not telling you what it is. So for all y'all talking about, oh, it's been going on. It, it can't be true because companies wouldn't be doing it. They it's not it's not personal. It's business. They're not going to tell you that you have rights. You have to tell them you have rights. <laughs> They're not going to tell you that you don't owe this bill. If they've been collecting bills, money from you time after time, you think they're going to stop? They, they process? All debt, public and private, is obligations of the United States. You don't owe that bill in the mail. OK, so read 18 U.S.C. Code 8. It's going to tell you how the, you know, all debt, public and private is obligations of the United States. OK, so y'all dig deeper in y'all laws and, you know, just break the words down. Every day I'm finding out something new. Nobody knows everything. A lawyer didn't become a lawyer overnight. They studied and they still study. That's what you have to do. You study. I'm always studying. I'm always fine. I'm always adding new laws to my um, letters that I send out when I'm finding violations. I'm like, oh, oh my God, that law. Okay, there's another um, violation that I found. Let me put that law in there. You, you got to study because it's always something. There's no right or wrong way to get your remedy. Some people get their remedy this way. Some people may use one law. Some people may use three laws. I like to study to get as much information as possible. So study, 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 okay? Study, study, study. Those bills you receive in the mail do not belong to you. Don't wait to be great, y'all.